Well, good evening, good morning, good afternoon to you, wherever you are. Welcome back to another episode of Coovin the Kang with myself, Bob BK, and of course, the sexy Scandinavian himself, Mr. Kuba. How you doing, Coovis? I miss you, baby. Uh, yeah, it's been yeah, a couple of weeks. Okay, doing okay. Yeah. Doing okay. It's, it's been, been a full, you, full day to recover, but buddy, that's, that's the way it goes. Come on, get in here. It's been a few weeks. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we've got there's, there's we gotta, size issues going on there, but I always say that. Hey, I lost three pounds. I found seven last <laughs> night, but I had lost three. You know, so yeah, there is the, yeah. the, the balance is off, but I am working on it. I'm working on it. We do have a couple of special guests today. You want to bring them in now, or should we just say play sexy? Just nah, really let's just bit. let's just wrap up now while the going's good. You know what? Yeah, it was a good show. It was good to see it you. Was. Thanks, folks. Remember to hit the Next. click, uh, yeah. like the like and subscribe button, the way our dear friend Benjamin has written down there for us. And uh, yeah, um, come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. Yeah. See you oh. Next week. oh, no, go oh, on, no, go little, on. That's, that's pretty no, much little, it, little K's giving me the look like, no, you, you fought with mom and you didn't want to go out and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, so. Let's well, do a should, show. Should we, um, should we introduce them one at a time, or should we just like explode them on the screen together? Like, just I don't know. You know what? Is if we do the explosion thing, then everybody just gets the oh, yes all at once kind of thing, right? So there is that that wow factor thing. But if we do one at a time, then you kind of get the double jizz. So yeah, okay, okay. Well, do? Let's let's let's, do, let's do, do one do? at a time then. Go on then. Yep. Do one at a time. Should we yeah, brought, you... bring them in the way they showed up? First come, first serve, right? Isn't it? That's fair. That's fair. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's bring in the Italian stallion himself, the man that is known to be the sexiest guy over at Tottenham Way. It is Mr. Prince himself. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. Can't you see? Welcome. You doing, welcome, guys? welcome. Good evening. Very good. Good How evening. Are you, sir? Good evening. Good evening to you both. Good evening to everyone in the chat. How are you guys? All right? We're fantastic. Here, Iggy, great to see you. Interesting weekend, right? <laughs> Absolutely, and good. Good to have somebody on the show as well with a, with a di good beard game as well. So, uh... <laughs> happy Mother's Day, Father's Day. I know some parts of the world it's Father's Day today. Some parts of the world it's Mother's Day. So let's just big them both. Yeah, up. It's in, in Italy, right? It's Father's Day. Yeah, it's Father's Day. I think today. Uh, yeah. it was Ben Ben Kaufman had messaged me that I think yeah. earlier in the day. Yeah, it um, is, so it like, is, okay, because for us, uh, Mother's Day is May and Father's Day is in June. Here. That's right. That's right. That's so right. So don't tell us. <laughs> It fulfilled on the same day, so I had to both mum and dad today. So big up to both of them. There not that go. they're watching, not that they watch any of my streams for the matter, but <laughs> big no, up they to watch them me anyway. all the time, man. I get messages <laughs> from my lovely lady, man. Tell her I appreciate the support. <laughs> big up, Mama Prince. <laughs> uh, let's put on the second guy. The uh, this is he the sexier half over there, or is he the, the lesser? Which one? Do you it's, it's, well, come on, let it. it. He's it's looking just... dapper right now, bro. He is. You got to give it to him right now. He cleaned up yeah, himself yeah, for us the, and everything. He the, is. Yeah, the effort's gone He's in. Got... The effort has gone in. Gone so I'm, a, I'm appreciating the effort. I'm appreciating. Yeah, it. well, like, the beard game's pretty off today, though. It is, but you know what? It's always nice to have the one odd man out. So let's bring him in. It is the sexier <laughs> side of the shelf side. It is Mr. Barry Nick Ranjit. <laughs> too busy on his phone, talking to Rez, telling him. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. is that, is that uh, Mama Prince? Yeah, I know. Look, he's on stream. I told you when he's on stream, you can't speak to him, right? I know I know you need to speak to him. Fucking hell, Iggy, call your mum, man. She's fucking doing my head in. <laughs> Oh shit! Why is she messaging me now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh Jesus! She wouldn't care. She'll tell you. you oh, make yeah. sure that people in the stream they wait while she's yeah. talking to me. That's what she'll yeah. be like. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't keep me mind. waiting. You keep them waiting. Yes, yeah. right. That's my mom. Day. I'm on the stream. I don't give a shit if you're on the stream. I'm going. <laughs> Looking oh. at you, looking at you today makes me wanna 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 have a clean shave. Not that I will, but oh, oh, here we go. It's going to be a problem. I shave my balls as well. If, if that right. makes T -T -T TMI, TMI. It's a Sunday <laughs> evening. <laughs> too much. We're, we're having a laugh, right? We're not. Yeah, yeah, of course. Cool. Uh, right. Not that. This yeah, we're big about. up, big up, big up to Iggy, who's had to do uh, everything in the ha in the Prince household as per usual. Again. So, again, again, yeah. Again. Washing up, cooking, everything. Absolutely. How you, how you watching Don't worry, so baby. You? April's right around the corner. April's right oh, around the yeah. corner. I'm holding on. I'm holding on. Literally. Almost literally there, a bit of a fiber. 
<laughs> you're going to get on. those two. Well, look, there's not two. like there's anything happening in the Tottenham world, so I figured, you know, what a nice evening to have a conversation. Yeah, it's, been, it's been a quiet it's weekend. Language, though, man. Yeah, not much happening at all. No meltdown. Iggy, we're so six ever. minutes in, man, and you're using language like that? Come on. Man. I didn't use anything. You said the T word. <laughs> oh, oh um, I would not allow that. Okay, I, I, won't, I won't speak about Spurs. <laughs> That's it. Handful of people just quickly say hi to. We got Benny's here, Mr. Benny K. Welcome, Benny. Welcome back. Hopefully, you had a great got, trip over in, in France there. Went skiing. Mark is in the house as well. Uh, is, I'm still gonna ask him, is it Elias or Ilias? And Elias. Um, oh, wow, Elias. 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 Okay, there you go. And oh, wow, Amir is here. Oh, this, this, up, is, this is a treat. I mean, big up, Amir, man. Always good to see you, brother. The, the ambassador of peace himself. And then Hanno's here, and always Hanno out. Good to see you, my man. And uh, he wants Kuva in. Me out, Kuva in. But I think he was trying to do the Bollywood for yeah. version. Bobby out, Kuva in. It's Kuva G. J and G. I and the G must be flipped. Let's keep Kuva G. Kuvinda works as well, doesn't it? Kuvinda. Got a nice ring to it. Of course, Stuart's here as usual. Great to see you, Stuart. Leo's in the house as well. Big up, Leo, man. And everybody's just saying hi to each other here. Lovely, jubbly, lovely, jubbly. So you already brought it up a little bit here. And I suppose we should get into a little bit. This thing. Fuck. I'm off. <laughs> Just when you think you're out, we bring you back yeah, in. Listen, hey, Nick, a point, a point is a point, man. It wasn't. No, three. I, 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 sorry, I just wanted to say I didn't watch a stitch or a second. You lucky of the game. bastard! So you I lucky was at bastard. work, and, and and you know what's funny? It's funny you say that, Nick. But after talking to the boys about it and everything. And hearing what they had to say about it, I think I am a lucky bastard that I went to work because I'm not hearing anything positive about last week's game, this week's game. So it seems like me being at work is a better thing. So going and driving a bus at 5 a.m. is better than watching Spurs right now. That is perspective, people. Who, who, who was going to die? Sorry, Stuart, who was going to die? Well, what's that all about? What's that comment all about? Missing his favorite two teams and he thought he was going to die. Uh, you're missing two favorite teams. Thought you were going to die. Uh, you, uh, I won't go as far as dying. I won't go as far as dying. I think your football side, don't, don't the football, football you try it. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I was a little, li- let's just say I was a little bit upset yesterday. Um, but look, we'll get into it, I'm sure. Um, but there'll be plenty of opportunity whilst we're talking about this subject to get upset again. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> there always is. No, no, there I don't, no. Is. Um, where, where do we start? Where do we want to start from the beginning, the middle, or the end? Uh, you know what? Like I said, I didn't, I didn't watch a single okay. point of the game. So why don't one of you decide? Maybe Coops, maybe split them on there. Play hey, good cup, bad cup, okay, kind well, of thing. Sure, one can sure. tell me the good parts. One tells me the bad parts. What do you think? G- game of two halves, I say. I was, I was going to say, if, I, if I'll, I'll just do my quick sum up of the game as far as Please. I'm concerned. Go for it. I was, I was streaming at the time with Sava and um, we we're, were just doing it. It wasn't really a watch along. We're just having a general football chat on the panel. Got it on in the background. And most of the time, you see your teams involved in a three all draw. You think, oh, good amount of goals. Must have been an exciting game. It wasn't. It was really poor. It, the reason there were so many goals is because the teams were both so bad. The, the, the defending was awful by both yeah. teams. It looked like a bottom of the table sort of clash. It was um, really, really disappointing. Um, however, goals have a way of masking over a few things, don't they? So um, good to see Peres- Perisic finally getting on the score sheet, even though he didn't celebrate it. Poro's goal, great. Loved watching oh, that. that. Yeah. Absolutely belted that in. I think he's going to be a good addition to us. And the master himself getting another goal, that's always a good thing for us. He's, he is our talisman. It's always good to see him on the goal trail. Even when we're going through bad times, if he can just keep the goals ticking over, there's something, there's something there to hang on to, even if it's by the fingertips when you're at the edge of the well. Um, that's that's all it feels like at the moment for me with the Spurs. But um, anyway, what it start with Iggy. What was your impressions of the game overall? It's just the the, the defending, our, our defending general. Um, 
<laughs> Sums it up perfectly, buddy. Sums it up perfectly. I, I, I thought, Thanks, buddy. you know, it probably wasn't the greatest spectacle. I, I'd agree with that. Um, your brain. But ultimately, we just when you're thinking the game was like, which way is it going to go? We took like, we went 2-1 up and then we went 3-1 up and you're thinking, all right, we got this now. You know, you can see we, we got this. Um, but the defense... sorry, we were three up, uh, three one up around the seventieth minute. Of... Yeah, yeah, what, it was, what was it that was around there? minute, yeah, yeah. So okay. by that point, when you see, you know, both your win backs have both scored. Perisic came on as a sub, right? But both, both, both our win backs have now on a score sheet. You're thinking, you know what? Finally, you know, this is what the win backs should be contributing goals. Poro's goal, you know, both our win backs making they're scoring their first goal for the club. Um, and, and you know, it was it a few minutes? Only it felt like like thirty seconds later we conceded to make it three two. Just I look at the first goal, and, and you know, you're thinking we, we was a little bit further eye up. One ball completely split split us open because we haven't got the pace to keep up, which which kind of makes me understand a bit more why we don't play with a high line defence. Otherwise, we'd have to be ripped to shreds when it comes to players that have got a bit of pace. Second goal, um, it was just comical because you got a, a centre back that's marking Walcott decides he's going to leave him to go and mark the you know be on the goal line, leaving Walcott all the time in the world to pick his spot and score. The third, I mean, where do I start with this? With this? I've said so much on this subject already about the, the penalty given. For me, I've seen that over and over again, and my mind does not change one bit. How the referee can give a penalty. Okay. Um, how how is it possible that the referee can get such an obvious, clear and obvious error rather than a clear and obvious penalty? It's, it's if it's a stonewall penalty, then you say, "All right, I'm going to give it." If there's an element of doubt, you can't give a penalty like that. And there was for me, that was not a penalty. He's given it, and you're thinking, "Okay, this is what VAR is for. They're going to look at that. They've got however many angles to look at that decision." And they confirm what the referee has given. And and and, and listen, it's the last few, it's, listen, Spurs haven't been the only ones. There's been so many teams that have been done over. Wolves was done over yesterday as well. There's so many teams that are getting done over with VAR at the moment. But that was just, in that moment, I, I just felt like, how is this possible? Because, listen, having won 3-2 doesn't take away the performance or the, the amount of chances that Southampton had to score that that Fraser Foster bowed us out of. Yeah, it has to be said. The Fraser, Fraser listen, he that, I want to spend a minute on Fraser because I think he's out of all the things oh, that's yeah. happened, he's he's <laughs> he's he's the one he's the one he's the one, one player. He's the one player I'd have to say that has has no, no, not just grown in stature, but he's grown like game by game. He just he's, he's gaining more confidence and he's coming he's coming really for us anyway he's coming really good he had I can't really say it, the goals wise I could full team for any of them um so and he was inches away of getting that that, that penalty from 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 his mate uh, Ward Prass. so big up big props to the keeper um but listen yeah the penalty was given and you just think to yourself how, how is this even possible that that can happen we would have taken a free to win but that that doesn't take away the, the the my analysis of the game which should have i would have still felt the same given how we played but you think to yourself you know what you take the three points but you have a look at it and think we need to improve on a lot of things here and then obviously on the back of that, we know we know we know what the post match and what followed and what have you. I'm sure there'll be opportunities to discuss more. But it's uh, it felt in the end it felt more like a win for Southampton and 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 a defeat for us. Even though ultimately it was a, a draw, a point that doesn't really probably serves more them than us. But it just goes to show um, because I know because you, you missed it, Bobby. Um, yes, we cannot individually as players deal with any kind of pressure. As soon as a little bit of pressure is applied, mm. we crumble like a, like, a, like an apple crumb. We literally crumble under any kind of a pressure. So it's it's just it's just it's just a sad state of events uh, that these players cannot sustain a five minute of pressure uh, in the last five to ten minutes of the, of the game. So you saying that now then um we all know about Conte's comments which I, I, yeah. I kind of uh 
touched on this with people, but we're not going to bring it up. We're not going to talk about Conte's comments and get your thoughts and stuff on all that. We've got a few other things that we want to do today. It's already kind of been gone over by everybody. Some of his comments were taken out of context. But um, do you think he's right then for calling out the players is all I want to know. And that goes to you, Nick and Kuba. Yeah, no. I, I'm just, no not I'm, just calling out the players. Forget the whole board, the whole overall message that could be perceived from his words, the way they were taken. We could swing them any way we want. Was he right to call out the players after this performance? You guys watched the game. Yeah, because the players were shit, all of them. Let's be okay. honest, apart from Forster and Porro, they are all shit. Okay. Um, that, that it, like he said, they cannot handle pressure. Perisic didn't celebrate one because he he knew that he was he'd already you know already conceded one goal. He was then going to go and help have a hand in the other two, and then also miss hit the ball into the ground. I mean, look, the only time we win when two wing back scores is when uh, Davis and Emerson Morales are on the pitch. Fucking Perisic and Poro, embarrassing man. Perisic is <sighs> Perisic is uh, <sighs> well, let's just say it is a joke. The first. The first goal he got split in between him and Longley. The second one he didn't. Um, he what was it? He was out of position. The third one he didn't clear it properly. So that meant that meant that obviously Saar. Look, it's not Saar's fault. Saar was looking at the ball. He was in the. He was in the. He was in the wrong position because he'd kind of been put in that position um, from Perisic. Um, Eric Dyer. Halfway through that game, he didn't even look like he should have been look that he was on a football pitch, let alone knew he was a footballer. He was walking around like, well, what am I doing here? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm supposed to play football, am I? And this is a guy that's going to get a new contract. Um, and the worst thing about that game, as soon as Ben Davis, Ben Davis, of all fucking people, came off in the 37th minute, we just knew that that was going to be the, that was going to be the end. We just knew something bad was going to happen. There's a sentence I never thought I'd hear. Ex- exactly. <laughs> yeah. and I'll say Losing exactly Ben Davis, saying, yeah. Ben Davis has been taken off, and we are literally going to go to shit. This is, like, crazy. Like, and Romero as well, right? I'm not having any of this nonsense. Like, he's not covered himself in glory in the, in recent weeks. He's better than the rest of them, but the rest of them are shit. Poro is the only one that can hold his head high after yesterday and Forster. The rest of them... Son, okay, one good through ball. Fuck me. He's a professional footballer getting paid 200 grand a week. Of course he should be able to play that pass. Kane steps up, scores a goal. Apart from that, good fuck all. Hoybier, Skip. I mean, I thought Skip had a good game, but I watched it back. Him and the pair of him midfield, awful. Dyer, Longley, Romero, Perisic. You just you knew it was going to happen. When Richie went off... Uh, um, when Davis went off, you just knew something was going to happen. And Southampton have both their centre backs, both of their centre backs taken off. And then Dyer comes out and says, "Oh, we're disappointed." And then today, the players, "Oh, we're not very happy with what Conte said." I don't give a fuck if if you're happy, mate. You're taking home hundred grand a week, and you're coming out and performing like that every week. Bullshit, man. Absolute bullshit. So yeah, if you're listening or you're watching. Go and cry more. Do what Richie said. Go and cry more into your pillow, into your fucking hundred grand pillow or whatever you've got in, in your bed, in your mansion with your 85 cars and all of this. And they're going to go there tomorrow. They've probably gone there tonight to St. George's Park and they're all going to be laughing about it. They're going to be laughing at, at, about it with Eric Dyer and everything else at the England camp and everyone else that's gone off on international duty. And that's a joke. So, yeah. So he was right. So to answer your question, yes, he was right with those fucking useless players. You you, you didn't enjoy it then, Ranjit. So you're no, saying that you weren't happy. Okay. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it. I I'm don't enjoy sense it. that he oh, didn't like it. I don't either. enjoy any of it at the moment. Well, one one, one thing going, one thing that was more home games. Yeah, one thing that was worth it perhaps was that um little clip of a certain couple of people in the what's what's we are Tottenham TV studios. <laughs> That, that did the rounds, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, troops. Fucking <laughs> troops. You know you made it when you get clipped by troops, yeah? So, is, yes. it, To be fair, it, it's just a funny clip, isn't it? It's just one of them I things. Know. It's so spursy. It's, we've done it so many times. But also, there was me laughing, like, going, oh, my God, we're going to be third. I can't believe we're going to be third. This is the weirdest <laughs> shit we're, we're going to be third. A few moments later. Danny, fuck it, this is fucking pathetic. Fucking hell, mate. Fuck this. Fuck 
Yeah. Uh, good times about yeah. football, right? Coops, what do you think about yeah. this comment here from Huddersfield, from Ryan? I don't think so. Um, I think long he's made a good so. pace for himself. I, I'll tell you what, I'd actually play him ahead of Hugo if they're both fit. I, I think he's better keeper of the two at the moment. Hugo's just a bag of mistakes all the time. Well, not all the time, but um, it, it thing is with Hugo, he's a he's a cat like reflex type of goalkeeper. So the older he gets, the slower he gets. So his, his skill set is diminishing. Um, Forster, you if you, when you're about eight foot three like him, that doesn't diminish over time. He's still going to be a massive goalkeeper. Um, yeah. He's got advantages that Hugo doesn't. Um, and I think he's just looking solid. He 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 doesn't give me any heart attacks there. He's not going to reach everything, of course. No goalkeeper gets everything, but I mean, he's been doing fine. He, he looks quite a dependable goalkeeper. Um, pity about the rest of the team, really, isn't it? Uh, the fact, the fact where it got um, you, you're talking about Southampton had both their centre backs uh, off with injuries. Why don't we have that kind of luck? <laughs> <laughs> If only if, if only if, right? Uh, you want to quickly answer this from Paddy as well? Because I don't like the prick, so I'm not answering his questions. Who? Paddy? You don't like Paddy? No, no, he's a shit. You, you know matter. what? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter who get, who's got the job. Give it to one of us. It don't fucking matter. You, you don't That's know been... why? Because this is the crap that Paddy comes in with when he joins shows. Well, I, I, I don't disagree with him. We have a love-hate relationship. Paddy. We love to hate Paddy. each other. Pick up, Paddy. I still do love him, though. The job is it. a challenge. The job is a challenge job. You remember the, the, we used to talk about the England job being the impossible job. I think. Tottenham, oh wow! Uh, yeah, Tottenham has become that in, in club football. I don't know any other, another club in 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 the whole of the Premier League that has the impossible job because it's impossible. Um, I, I, I'm. I'll try and keep it as clean as I can, man. But it, it's. It, it's just. It's becoming the impossible job because the surroundings around that job. It's not. It's not one that makes for success. And I'm just going to leave it there, man. Fair enough. It doesn't matter Fair who enough. you get. It doesn't matter who you get. The job is an impossible job for any manager. If two. Top, top, top footballing men. Let's just say that, regardless of the style of play, if these guys have won everything in, in world football um, with their ways. And guess what? Jose left. He went on to win again. And Conte will leave. And he will Even go Nuno on to win won. again. Even yeah. Nuno went on to win. Yeah. Conte yeah. will leave this club and he will go to win at his next club. And that that would be the second manager, second top manager in world football that will do that after Jose, and and yeah. So for me, it's just a poisonous chalice. It doesn't matter. We'll be back here, Bobby. Mark this, mark this day now. We will be back here in twelve to eighteen months' time, spitting the same thing again, talking about exactly the same thing. How another manager yet again mm -hmm. has failed to bring silverware at this club. We'll get we'll, the new manager will come in. You'll get the rise. You'll get the bounce, and then slowly, slowly, the same shit the will happen again. And and the I don't know how many yeah. how many people can say to me right now that that won't happen. It will happen. We all know it will happen. But you know what? It is what it is, man. Let me just leave it there, man. Because otherwise, is that basically just... saying we're rotten to the core? Um. We have a mentality issue. It's a clear and obvious. I, I like the penalty yesterday. It's a clear and obvious mentality problem that we have at our club. It starts with the with the with the, with the board. It starts with the players, um, with, the, with the players that are there that continues to be there. It doesn't matter year after year after year. The same players are there, and um, yeah, for me, for me, it's. Um, I don't know who's going to win. Who's going to who's going to bring this new mentality culture at Spurs? This winning mentality culture. At Spurs? Who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? It can't then, be just then, down. Then, it can't be not. just down to one man, the manager, to do it. It can't. Guys, I mean, um, it's an it, challenge. No, but that being said, it, would it be better to, for me to ask you um, uh, the question of what do women really want? 
Would that be an easier question to answer then? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think, I think, think Paddy's Paddy's comment at nine fifty seven PM pretty much gives a, a reasonable summary there of the whole of the yeah. whole how, and that, how that can you how can you as a manager how can you as a manager succeed when you've got that situation going on? So it's it doesn't matter to me who the next manager is because I know I'll be here in twelve to eighteen months talking about exactly the same thing that we're talking right now. Yeah, and also, oh, sorry, oh, go on. I was just, I was just saying, and also, having had time to reflect, right, and take the emotion out of it, uh, there's articles coming out. The, the Tottenham squad believe Antonio Conte is going or gone. It's understood that some of the players would welcome him leaving immediately. Same fucking players. The same fucking players. Same ones that wanted Pacho, and now they want him back. Yeah, yeah. those same players so. want Pochettino back. Back, yeah, yeah. But they like they they like you out. said, right now, Iggy, you know, 12 months from now, 18 months, we'll have the same conversation again. Yeah, yeah. The players can decide that's what they that, expect from the fan base, right? I put this earlier, right? In the League Cup, okay, we get it. We get there's results, right? But in the League Cup, apart from Colchester, you can accept the results and who we went out to Arsenal, Chelsea, Man United, everything else, right? But this FA, listen to this. 2013, round four, Leeds. 2014, round three, Arsenal. 2015, round four, Leicester. 2016, round five, Palace. 2017, semi-final, Chelsea. 2018, semi-final, Man United. Then from then, 2019, round four, Palace. 2020, round five, Norwich. 2021, round five, Everton. 2022, round five, Middlesbrough. 2023, round five, Sheffield United. And do you know what? I watched that Sheffield United Blackburn game. We wouldn't have beaten either of those teams today if we played them. They'd have fucking wiped the floor with us. Blackburn scored two goals against Sheffield, something we couldn't do. <laughs> Let's get on to this, though, boys, because I do want to get the football end of things done with. Uh, it's it's getting depressing. and uh, But we do want, have to do a few things here, Kuva. We'll go through the player ratings here quickly. And as you know, we do here... <laughs> Fucking hell, man! It's like one of it's like one of Eugene's. I weren't ready for that. Mum, it's like one of Eugene's fucking intros. We like to get a little bit of a reaction because you know you should come up with a disclaimer. Football's depressing, right? Oh, we're not monetized, so I don't worry about that shit yet, Iggy. No, no, I'm saying it should come with a disclaimer that you're going to play. We should have it. Some explosion. If you have headphones on, you may want to turn the volume down for this short no, video clip. Like... That's actually a good idea. Kuba, what do you I think? Shit, you do I shit myself. No, 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 no. no, no it's no, way no. more fun this no, way. It is absolutely. Way you you yeah, should always hate your shit. viewers. Exactly. <laughs> this is the kind of shit we laugh about later on, right? Yeah. It's time to get into player ratings. So Kuva is going to run these through you guys. Uh, give us your what your player rating is. We'll try to just get a number here off you guys quickly. And obviously, it's called the gold standard. So we will then compare your rating to what my dear friend uh, Alistair Gold has given the players on his player ratings from the game. So, gentlemen, let's bring up the gold standard, and we will start right back here. The man you had already discussed the most out of all the players there. Kuvs. So yep, so Fraser Foster, um, we were all talking about him being a good, solid goalkeeper. Um, start off with Iggy this time. What would you give him out of 10 for the game against Southampton? Listen, I ultimately conceded three goals. and uh, But yes, for me, he was by far the better player. I'll probably go with a 6.57 because he made a really good save. I think it was a right hand, um, right-handed save. I thought it was top, top notch. I thought he was good the whole game. I'll give him a 7. Sticking with 7, okay. Um, Ranjit, guess I'm what? Same thing. Same thing. I'm going to give him an eight. Fuck it. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, for for me, I'm, I'm going to go, well, he's conceded three goals in these, so that's crap. That's zero. Hard zero. Yeah. Seems, Might, Might have given him a you, you have one job, and he just let it. Let just couldn't do it. Disgusting. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Shameful. Um, with, with that great wall that he's got in front of him, he should be doing yeah, a lot better. Absolutely. absolutely. You know, absolutely. that's a solid foundation. In front of right. Very right. good point. That's a good point, Iggy. That's a solid yeah. point, man. That line makes the Italian defense of the 90s of the Italian national team look like nothing, man. <laughs> I, I told him he's, he's six. Like he's ridiculous size, isn't he? Six, eight or something. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, well, if you're six eight and you got people not doing their job in front of you, they should be scared into doing their job properly, shouldn't they? So it's all on him, actually. Forget all this Conte talk. Fraser Forster, pull your finger out, mate. Scare these players, get them running around properly. There you go. Pull you tell them out. there. You tell them, yeah. Coops. Zero out of ten. I, I'm disgusted, <laughs> in fact. Yeah, there we go. Stuart's, Stuart's wondering if he can cheat already. Mark's giving him a seven, and Stuart's asking if he can cheat like he did last time, but Benny already put him in his place. So no cheating, Stuart. Just just guess, and uh, Paddy already dropped him a seven why, as well. Why, 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 why would you cheat on <laughs> this? Why would you cheat on this? <laughs> yeah. Why would you cheat on this? But uh, one of you guys how, did get it right. How would Ali you cheat on this? I'm confused. I'm, how would you cheat? Well, in, 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 in reality, Gold's look up ratings. Alistair Gold's ratings. That's all you got to do, right? <laughs> this is his player ratings. Well, that we're doing at the moment. So, yeah, we're just yeah. Doing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, I'm not losing this. Fuck this. Not to Iggy. <laughs> so he Iggy's didn't in fact give him a seven. He did give so him a seven. So okay. Iggy got a spot on there. Yeah. 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 So Iggy got that one spot on. Well, he gave him six. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. 6.57. I don't see Alistair Gold giving him a 6.57. Uh, but right at the end there, Iggy did say, oh, so therefore a yeah. seven. Uh, so, yes, he did. Yes. Well, yeah. Feel free to rewind the clip. The, the trouble easy. is, Ranjit, if, if you're actually awake on streams all the time, you pick up stuff like this. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> yes. See? Fuck Kuva's, fuck Kuva's fuck got his list. Hey, right, don't that's, a, that's an extra point off there. On that. Is that, you not, know what? I'm, yeah. I'm taking no shit, shit from you, no, Ranjit. Fuck him, man. No, he's not the boss here. You're, you're, you're a guest there. You remember yeah, that. That's right. Don't let him treat you like Rez Kuva. Iggy, Iggy has slaved over a hot sink doing the washing up to get onto this stream. I I'm telling you, mate. Still it, sweating. How much yeah. Soup, you need from chicken Thank soup, you. man? His, hell, his, man? His, his hands are as soft as a baby's bottom, I'm telling you. They really are. Oh, my God. Yeah. They're not. They're rough as anything, but I like it. Well, <laughs> in that case, I just want to say to Sophie tonight, oh, Jesh. <laughs> <laughs> Coves on to Romero, big guy. Uh, should we bother? Should we should just bin these? I'll start. Do, do it quickly. Romero, he was all over the place. Zero. For me, um, Ranjit six because he was marginally better than his mate next to him on the left hand side, not his mate on the right hand side. So, Kuva said quickly, just throw out a damn number. All right, fucking six then. Let's go on six, Iggy. <laughs> yeah, hello, five. hello, Iggy. Where's your, where's your number? Five, five. Oh, okay. I, I, I'd have given him. He was a better of the three, but no more than five. I don't think anyone should go about go above the five at the back, personally speaking. I see that we gave the answer before yes. they finished answering. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's right. I won't check. I won't oh, check. Click on mind. the next banner. Already? Oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got a little nervous. We'll, we'll for, um, should, we, should we do Dyer 5 next? Should we do Dyer 5, five next? Five for Dyer, yeah. Dyer 5. Yeah, think 4. so. 4.5, 4, 4, 4, 4.5, 4.5 for me, no more. 4.5, 4, 4.5, 4.5. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. I'm, I'm thinking he was definitely six. 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 the worst, the worst of the three. Again. I don't oh, know, right. guys. It's getting beyond the joke how this guy, I don't know, a centre-half that doesn't put in a tackle and doesn't like marking. And that Walcott, if you actually go and watch that Walcott go back, he was side by side. He's decided to go for the for, go, go and just leave him, and then just go onto the line and leaving Walcott. If he just stayed with him the whole action, he would have seen that out. But it's just beyond belief how this guy doesn't mark and doesn't like tackling. For me, four. And I believe he's one of those players that Conte is talking about. He should yeah. be, according to a lot of people. But Coops. You give, yeah, you gave me a rating already, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. Doesn't matter, does you it? You did give yeah. him a five. I said die yeah. five, yeah. Die five. Yeah. Okay, let's get through the defense quickly, at least. Uh, Dave, oh, long lay five as well. What's yeah, your rating five. for long lay five? I'd have given him the same rating, four. Okay. Four. Fair. Fair. Barry? Five. Ali said four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Last defender. Yeah. If he four. got a four, then Dia should be getting a four, man. They can't be getting a five. Yeah. So I'm 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 not in, I'm not in the same view as uh is it Ali Gold that you got it off yeah yes yeah, yeah. Po po oh, Poro seven who's bound to get an extra point yeah. if he scored a goal so uh, yeah 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 so I'll say so, Iggy, Poro solid, seven 
Solid seven, man. It would if it had gone into a win, I think he'd have got an eight, eight or even a nine. But I thought he was really do you know what he's come really good the last game. He was good against Forest, he was good yesterday. I, def, a solid seven on, on at least on yesterday's performance, the team's performance, he's got to come away as on the same line as say Foster. So seven for me. Eight Great. for me. Same as Foster, eight. Mm-hmm. Eight it is, baby. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Eight it is. Last one. Yeah. Man of the match, according to no one would have got more than eight. So he's got to be per, man of the per, match. Per, Perisic three. You had a nightmare. Um, fuck off, Perisic. You what, what, what do you think, Ranjit? Perisic you can fuck off five, four and a half, five, 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 because <laughs> he scored five. Oh, no, I, I reckon he'll get a six. I reckon he's got a six. What did you go with, Coops? Three. <laughs> close. Close. Yeah. Okay. Well, as the gold's always uh, way, way too generous, I think. Way too generous. So him and Dyer, got, got both of them got a five. Mm. Uh, Mr. Okay. Hodgepodge. Oh, sorry. Um, before we go on to the midfield, I don't know how these got mixed up, but there was one more well, defender that he played a little bit, but he did well, he, he didn't really. He only put in the half hour, right? Thirty six minutes. Be, he was better Perisic, than so. he, his thirty seven minutes was better than Perisic and Longley and Dyer. So I, I gave them all a five. So I'm giving Davis a six. Seems yeah, nice yeah. Five. I mean, I, for me, you can't judge a player on a thirty minutes performance. But yeah, I suppose you can go with six, seven. Um, yeah. Which Nothing. one again? Which one again? Six, 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 yeah. six, six point seven. Trying to sound like a <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you I said six or seven. I said six point seven. That's more. I think, I think bonus point for Iggy on that one. <laughs> Fair oh, enough. Fuck Fair off, enough. man. Bonus <laughs> yeah. point. Yeah, I yeah. Could be like that. Two oh, bonus. Oh, Give him oh, one for me, two coups. The the man from Shelfside Spurs is questioning the scoring. On yeah, this. yeah. How do dare you? you? Really? Hey, hang hang on, on, Chris. You're, 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 you're quiz, calling out the points, Kuva. We you won on Thursday, so just be very careful about how. Exactly, that's why it's contested. Yeah, yeah Kuva, you, you know what? That's true. The reason why it's contested. It. You you, you, you <laughs> yeah, were the like, you were the offline winner. I was the online winner. Still won it because it was a fun. Is that how dare you? It's contested it because he won. <laughs> the integrity is under question yeah, of the point scoring system no on Shelfside Spurs. It will be try, looked into. It will be looked into. Try, trying to blame others is no good, Ranjit. It's like, oh well, it was him that shot him, Your Honor. No, it, it doesn't, doesn't work, does it? No. Just held the gun. No. Got everybody's oh, numbers here on Davies. Yeah, six point seven. Yeah, I'm sticking with it. Yeah. There, there you go. go. Six point seven. Six point seven. seven Covered a base. You see. Point uh, Coops, you know what time it is, but we've only got four players left. Do we want to run through the players? Or do we want yeah, just to get, take get, our get break? the football out of the way, mate. Get the football just... out of the way? Yeah, you don't yeah. want to talk about I know the mood you're in. And it's I not don't even want to rate okay. them, to be honest. Uh, okay. Only going six or whatever. Uh, six, what okay. Think? Iggy? Yeah, same six. Six. No, no Barry? 7.05. 7.05. Barry wins there it. Extra bonus uh-huh. points for the point zeros. Skippy? Well, if, they must be on the same level. They, if he yeah. got a seven, then he's, he's probably got a seven as well. But he's probably going to get a six, no, Nelly. Seven. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with a zero for being just for being harsh. Just for being harsh. Well, then the, you get the bonus eight. points there. Eight. <laughs> eight. The same as Poro. Fucking hell, Ali Gogs lost the plot, man. Hey, don't be talking about my homie like that. But I will have a word with him. Sometimes the ratings are wow, wow, wow. Ali, buddy, some of his ratings. So, yeah, some of them sometimes I wonder yeah. too. Uh, the Mr. Same game or is he watching the game? Uh... Well, if, if, Poro, if Poro and uh, and uh, Skip got an eight, this guy's got a nine then easily. He, I, I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't give him a nine, but I'm just going by the Ali's logic. He's, this guy can't, can't get less than an eight. Um, but me personally, honestly, on yesterday's performance, the goal was the only thing that say that, you know, I wouldn't give him more than six. Six on performance, but seven because he scored a goal. But We're trying. That's, yeah. that's fair. That's fair. I, 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 no, listen, I'd be amazed if he got more than seven, but I, he probably got an eight or nine, nine early gold. Yeah, this, this, isn't, this isn't really a test on uh, what we think about the players. It's more a case of um, 
how Trying wrong we think Ali Gold is. <laughs> yeah, it's become like that, yeah. <laughs> That's what it's come to, yeah. It's much. insane. Just Skip getting an eight is insane. There's no logic to, to, to the fire that rating. There's no... And I love Skip, by the way. I'm a Skip one of, one of, Skip's been one of my favourite players. But he can't get an eight on yesterday's performance. I mean, I mean to, be, to be absolutely fair, I mean, Alistair Gold is a, a big uh, uh, friend of the channel, isn't he, Bobby? So in, in that case, oh, we won't be too much. Yeah. Big love, Ali Gold. Alistair big Gold, you yeah. are out of your mind. <laughs> yeah, dude, you got to get your shit together, man, homie. Don't worry, we'll talk about it later, man. We'll talk about it later. Uh, what did Barry say for Kane? Uh, well, bearing in mind that Poro got an eight, Skip got an eight. That means Kane's going to get a six or a seven, I think. No, man, he's going <laughs> to he's gonna, goals, he's uh, gonna get... He's going to get the same as everyone else, uh, of the other big boys there. Gonna, Nick, uh, six uh, six or no, seven. no, 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 no. I, I don't think he is. I'm going to go with seven... Seven well, you got Ali Golders rating seven on that left half. side of your screen, ain't ya? Seven you? Do you want to see my screen? It. I'll fucking show you. Hang on, let me take a picture. Only if no, Pornhub's over that. now. It, it, it's the electrical. It's the electrical. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just it's electrical. electrical. Did, did you all see that little click on the side? It just went bang yeah. just before he did it. Yeah, screen's gone. What <laughs> fucking bang, mate? Here you go. Hang on. <laughs> fucking lying. Cr- was it Curry's only <laughs> fan? So touchy, isn't he? How sensitive is he? Oh, big up Bob Swiss. Oh, right, Bobby, I believe you. I believe you. Thank you. I'll look it up now. Did we get everybody's numbers, Coops? The quicker we want to do this, the more we keep it's stalling. Getting, yeah, it's getting a bit punchy in there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kane was a seven, buddy. All right. Yeah, yeah. okay. Sonny? Sonny. Tot, totting up. Um, actually, Sonny. Oh, yeah, yeah. Still forgot. forgot. Sonny. Oh, who cares? Five, seven. Six, seven. 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 Whatever. Okay. Barry. Seven? Seven. Okay. Iggy. Whose son, uh, nine the mid, no, but he'll put, if he, uh, six, I'll say, I reckon he's got a six. Six. No, he loves son, doesn't he? Oh, you're right, though. Oh. Ooh. It's a tie. You've just pulled that one back, Iggy. Thank last you. one. Last one. Last one. Yeah. This is uh, the I actually liked him. I actually liked him. I thought yesterday was one of his better games. We come on, he made an impact and he gave everything. <laughs> I, I, I'd give him a seven, but nine, nine, Ali. He'll probably give it him a six. Uh, Ranji, I got your your screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew it. <laughs> oh fucking hell, he that's killed it. Ranj, what, did, what, did, what did Ali give him? I mean, what did, what is your uh, rating? Sorry, what did Ali give him? Fucking deluded, mate. Probably seven and a half, eight. Fucking who knows? Who cares? I, you I, was deluded, I, I deluded. liked him. I, I liked Kulu. I mean, I thought like, he, 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 he is in the Kulu of like what we know, but I thought he was definitely better and made an impact coming on. I, that, that's the that's the feeling I got. Sure, was he the Kulu of old? No, but I thought he was all right. I thought when he went off, he was he was and he, he had given quite a lot. So I would put him. I would I would I would give him a seven. I wouldn't give him. Uh, but like I said, he'll probably get a six. So I'm going to go with a six just because of what is what I think he got. I think Ali Gold likes him. I think he'll give him a seven just out of, uh, because it's him. Fair enough. He does like him a lot. Fuck off, eight man. You see what I mean? It's just, it's just. There's no, there's no. When you think about these ratings, there's no thought. How do you go from one extreme to another? That means either he's he. Song gets a six, he gets an eight. So the truth is probably somewhere in between. Give them both a seven. Do you know what I mean? Uh, this is what your forwards give them both. Give them all. I don't yeah. understand this. I think there's um, he listens to too many people. I think I don't think. Yeah, but that's he's, that's yeah. that's all because he's all about football and everything, right? Now. And uh, you know, speaking about football, shut up, shut up, shut the fuck up, shut up now. It's game time. <sighs> I've wanted to push yeah, that button for 45 fucking minutes. Oh, okay. The football part is done, gentlemen. Thank you. That was a long, painful 45 minutes, but it is game time. Let's loosen things up a little bit now. It is time for decisions, decisions. Kuva will be scoring you. I am going to give you two options, or I'm going to ask you a question or some shit. And I don't know. Kuva will figure out how he wants to judge you, score you, and give you points. Hey, hey, congratulations uh, on winning. Thank you. It's been an honor. I'd like to it's, thank my mom. Why do you got to be like that? 
And don't so forget the little people and the big people. Down, yeah? Who won the last game, by the way? Well, the last game. Iggy did, mm. just at the death. Iggy. At the death. Because he was he closer said to seven, the I said seven don't, and a half. Don't, don't argue with the hosts, man. Remember, oh, yeah. your guests. Yeah, your but guests, don't forget yeah. the bonus points. Racist You're... against the guy with fucking hair, yeah? Oh, you, I thought he said you, six and a half. You are a guest, yeah. Start, right, start the show again. We'll do it again. Mr. Huh? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Uh, it's your own you're time you're wasting. Where's the rewind button? <laughs> you are you are a guest on here, Mr. Mr. Ranjit, Barry. He just said ever since well, he's changed since he hit a thousand, man. Like some other guys I know. Once they get to a certain number, they change, bro. I'm seeing the change, Iggy. I don't know if you've I'm, seen it. I'm you know, you're there in England firsthand. Now, you know, yeah. but the kids, even even one of his kids was messaging my kid the other day. It's like, yo, dad's changed a lot. You know, so hopefully it's not going to be too massive and we'll get the old Nick back soon. But it is time for decisions, decisions, gentlemen. So I hope you're ready. Like I said already, gentlemen, I'll give you some options. I'll ask you a question or some shit like that. Iggy's uh, Kuva will give you points. Iggy's going to win. I mean, um, uh, I hope you guys do well. Good luck, Iggy and Nick and Nick and Nick. God bless you, Barry, Nick, Sean, Ranjit, Sean, uh, uh, Ranjwakinder, uh, Ranjwinder. Uh, should have had a list Fuck of all the names. Show, Fuck it. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, very simple. Live on a deserted island with nothing except for your celebrity crush or live in a mansion Ooh. with everything you want but with your ex. Oh, fuck that. I'm with the crush, man. Fuck the ex. <laughs> oh, this is a no, this is an awkward one. It's not awkward, Iggy. Um, <laughs> Turns out crazy. I mean, it, it might be awkward for you in a minute, depending on what your answer. Yeah, is. I'll, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that is very true. Ask me that question again. So you can live on a deserted island with nothing except yeah. for your celebrity crush, or you can live in a mansion with everything you want, but with your ex. Iggy says oh, two, so Iggy right, wants okay. to live with his ex. Oh, I thought he said he wanted both. I would never, I would never I say that. Sophie. It's got to be option yeah. one. It's got to be option one, surely. <laughs> Paddy's asking for a third <laughs> option. <laughs> live with Daniel Levy. There's your third option. <laughs> it's got to be option one. Option Kuba, you got the, the secret recording? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm making note of it, yeah. No, you figured it out? Okay, okay. On to I the next to one. Just apologize for if Iggy suddenly drops off the stream. It's not his <laughs> Or a pan. Uh, uh, never, 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 never to appear again Happy on Mother's screen. Day, Sophie. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Sophie. <laughs> yeah, hands that do dishes can be soft as your face, but they don't save you from a severe beating. There you go. <laughs> ben, ben likes Iggy's answer, I think, here. Or he wants both options as well. Uh, would you rather be colorblind or lose your sense of smell? Oh, uh, well, this is awkward. Col colorblind. Um, no, because no, you no, always no, no. know what colors are, so it doesn't kind of. I know you can sit there and say. No, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with the second option: colorblind or sense Lose of smell. Your sense of smell. Now, nah, there's just so much smell of shit around. I'd rather avoid that. Yeah. And, and then I love colors, so I'm going to go with colors. I'm going to choose colors every time. See, you're not a racist like so Barry. That's, that's, a, that's an incorrect yeah. answer, Iggy. Really no, right. the same fucking thing, Bobby. No, 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 Kuba, Kuba. In a way, when you think about it, if you lose, if you go colorblind, you'll get to watch the Spurs in black and white. That's when we were last good. That's true. It's true. Okay. I'm just thinking right. food. So just I mean, that's the, you, oh. you know, beautiful food. You want to smell that, surely. You do, but you want to see the colour as well. I, think I am colour blind. It's fine. <laughs> well, <there you> <laughs> <go>. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even he's know that. He's not, he's, not, he's not losing anything. <laughs> Sorry, well, yeah. Bob. Sorry, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I'm going to have to write all these Chief down. Lin <laughs> Hussein. Hussein. <Leroy>. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, would you rather be a genius everybody thinks is an idiot, or would you rather be an idiot that everybody thinks is a genius? I'm an idiot anyway, so no matter what people fucking think, I don't care what people think. I think, think you're a genius, so there you go. You are an idiot, I think you're <laughs> genius, a genius. Okay, so there you go. So you'd rather Brilliant. be a genius and think that everyone's an idiot. 
Or would you I rather can't... be an idiot and everybody thinks you're a genius? Uh... The one that Barry just picked. This is... Okay, no. So would you rather be smart or stupid, basically? Is this quick fire, Bobby, or we... we yeah, you know, I think, I think the fact that I'm fire. taking so long, I'm probably going with number two. The fact that I'm taking so long to answer, I'm probably going to go with the two. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. It's, it's not quick fire. It's decisions, decisions. But points are based on the speed of the answer, and Kuba okay. gives the points. So it's all on him. Okay, would you rather look strong and be weak or look weak and be strong? Iggy. Look weak, look weak. Oh, so both strong, right? Every day. Every, Every day of the week. Be strong. Yeah, both look weak, be answer. strong. Because ultimately it comes down to you and you only. That's the only point. Only person you can really um, bank on is yourself. So I'll go with that. Yeah. Doesn't so matter, I, I, little does it matter what I look like on the outside. From, from the make, outside makes, it easy, it? Make, makes it easier to spark out everybody else at the kindergarten, doesn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> It's amazing how I, we I, went from eight viewers when we were actually talking about football to doubling them when we went to talking shit. Yeah, sorry to everybody that we made you watch the football end of it. We're obviously going to have to start removing that. Like, yeah, I told you. I told you. It's just... I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Hey, by the way, this shirt's looking good back there, buddy. I like where you put it. That's official. Three yeah, because yeah, I couldn't get into it. That's for sure. <laughs> Did you get him an extra small? I sent some over. I got to get Iggy one and uh, I sent some over there. Man, a few more people deserve some. Uh, would you rather read the book or watch the movie? Watch the movie. Read a book. I think you get a lot more from reading a book than watching a movie. That's my okay, settle, settle down now. So you're starting to sound like no, no. earlier. No, I'm trying to win points just here. Just so that. I thought if I elaborate on my answer, then it might, might, it might consider the extra points. Hold, See, settle down. Like... Hold, hold on, settle down. Let me ask the point master. Kuba, is that true? Does he get a... a uh, yeah, I, I think generally speaking, I, I'd agree with Iggy. But yeah, oh. there's films like Avatar. I mean, huh. who gives a shit about a book than when it's Avatar? That's just watching it for the, the if you had said that, I might have answered differently. What's your shoot? Oh, he can hear us. Oh, oh my god, god. Oh, if, if it was, if, if my fucking listening. auntie had balls, she'd fucking right. be my uncle. You know, as your auntie have balls, do we give I mean, that break? is a topic I want to get into right now. I, Iggy, sorry, can you just hold up your hands quickly? Hold up my hands, yes, quickly, just one second. Oh, those so look how soft and gentle they look. He's yeah. been washing dishes yeah. all day. Give him, give him. I think so. Look at the wrinkles, man. Yeah. Thank That's you. Like, pull out a slide. It's all good. Thanks. It's all good. But anyway, can, uh, we talk about, can we talk about Nick's aunt? He's got balls. Nick's aunt. He said it. Not me. He said it. Not me. What did he said Nick's aunt has balls. He said it. He, no, I said if my aunt had balls, she'd be my aunt. Oh, if she had balls. Why so would she, your aunt have I'm balls? I'm confused. So she doesn't have balls, or she wants balls? No, both, I mean they're both a pair of. I mean they just play for Spurs. Well, when you say both, no. your aunt and your uncle both have balls. No, what if it's only balls? They're both um, only balls. If you answer this correctly, Barry, you can actually get extra points. I'm trying to help you here. I'm trying to help you to yeah, remain in the game because I'm 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 just running away with it. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> it's a very yeah. I'm really like, bored while film, watching it. Is good too. <laughs> Shawshank Redemption. He loves Shawshank. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> man. I went when Bob picked me up and uh, he, he drove me up to my uncle's house there. And it was a, quite a hike there. And uh, he had that uh, one, a new fancy vehicle. I can't remember what company, though. But, uh, oh, yeah, the one he works for. And it had on the TV screen, it had Shawshank playing. And it was just such a lovely ride. It was nice. He had Bobby, some Bobby the can you, can you ask your panel, nice. can, not your panel, can you ask people in the comments... If they like Shawshanks of Redemption, do they actually think it's a good film or do they think it's a bad film or a rubbish film? I'd be interested to know what the guys in the in the, in the, in the comments think. Iggy, you don't have to ask me to ask. You can just ask them. They can okay, guys, you. can you tell us uh, <laughs> what, can you tell us if you think Shawshanks Redemption is a really good film or it's a bad film? Let, let me know. Or well, Coover's got a great in. Clickbait, Coover. I'm name. just curious to know. So many different opinions. On this film, and um, yeah, I'm just interested. So, not legendary. <laughs> there you go, guys. So, Bobby knows f all about films. Yeah. There you go. Look at it. Actually, the greatest but film. Mama K just watched this, believe it or not, um, a couple of days ago or a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Sophie loves the film. Uh, she Sophie. did too. 
She Sophie did too. loved Absolutely the film. Loved it. Yeah. I, so I I'm, think I'm, it was I'm one a of those. Confused. Well, I liked it the first time I saw it. And oh, you watched it more than once. Th- oh, yeah. Because it's one of those things that uh, when we had regular TV, it was one of those ones that just keeps coming back on after a while. When we have regular TV. Now, we, now, now we're. Now but we're now we're I have the IP show. box, right? So we I have the fucking every channel, pornography. Yeah. Everything. Oh, dude! All kinds of porn on this thing. It's awesome. Twenty four hours unlimited. The only section sometimes it's a bit weird because it's like all the busty porn comes on at once on all the channels, and then it kind of goes away at once. So it's just like I'd like a little bit more, a mix, bit bit more options in there, kind of a bit more mix up, right? You know what I mean? I, I, and big, I think, big K says the same thing. I think for its time that the film came out, I thought it was a good film. I wouldn't say it was an amazing film, but I thought it was a good. Film. <laughs> My hi, uh, let, Leo, let Leo. me know. Leo, let me know what you think of the film. It's it's obviously it's a bit dated now. It's a bit dated. It's uh, it's an old film back back in the nineties, I think it was. But uh, listen, let let me know what you think. What, what does it what does it matter if it was made in the nineties? It was it was set in the nineteen thirties, forties, and fifties. No, I mean I mean looking at it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. When you say it like that, it's right. But it's it's dated now. You got to think. Thirty more years from the making of that film, it's it's, it's <laughs> Dude, no, you, you think of all the, the 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 effects that they can do to it now to make that film even look even more set in the thirties. You think I think it's a great movie. I do. I think it's great. Film. But would I watch well, it again? Make the probably? walls look more stony. You mean? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, the everybody, everybody likes being stoned. We know that. Yeah. All, all the yeah. guards in their guard uniforms. Make, make the guard <laughs> uniforms even more guardy. <laughs> work in the fields. Make it work even more harder. Yeah, that's right. I, I, I just realized we're like we're completely stalling here. We're like halfway through. We've got five more yeah. questions here, boys. So come on, get to it. Get your game yeah. faces on, boys. Who can oh. look at your phone while it's unlocked? Your boss or your wife? Boss. Oh, no, wife. Wife. Why, isn't it the same thing? Wife, boss. Uh, good answer. I like that. Point to Wiggy there. Well played. Well played. Well played. Barry, you need to you need to sharpen up, mate. Yeah, sharpen okay. up. Mate, you know how late it, it is. Was, to be fair, there was a bit of a lag with your answer, though. Like, it took a little while to get it out, Iggy, but it was a great answer. It's so because I'm are... lying back. I'm kind of ready to send me sleep, send me ready for bed sort of thing. So kind of... It's chill time, buddy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying myself. That's I'm it. It's good. That's all that matters. It's all that matters, buddy. Would you rather marry the most attractive person you have ever met or marry the yes. best cook you have ever met? Oh, cook. Oh. Cook. Cook. Uh, Let's do it. The... Yeah, I'll go with the latter. I do love my food, so I'm going to go with uh... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cook, Shank. Cook, cook, the best cook ever is the most attractive person. Yeah, exactly. You see, you see. Yeah, yeah, he got the it. It's the Iggy mindset there. Of course, of course. I'll do the watch Is he Wankfest? Iggy Wankfest or something? Listen, I don't know. Kuva, Barry, Barry, don't be a Mitrovich. I'm talking around you at a point there. He's been on Barry, don't be a Mitrovich. Don't be a Mitrovich. Yellow card. Nick, I'm sorry. I just asked the questions, baby. Don't, I just ask the questions, baby. Yeah, yeah. Don't be, be a, a Mitrovic. No one likes when, when referees don't like getting pulled left to the pillar to post. No one likes that. Oh, uh, yeah. Iggy likes getting pulled off. What? Now, this, this one's going to be a tough choice for Iggy. Would you rather have an afro or a mullet? Well, afro. I've had a mullet, so I'll probably go with an afro. I've had a mullet before, back in the 90s. But, um, yeah, I'll say, oh, an afro would be so cool. Definitely go with an afro. Mm. Yeah. Ranjit? I already answered four hours before Iggy did, so. All right. See, yeah, it's, it's, that, it's, that ki- it's that kind of attitude that's letting you down. Yeah. It's that kind of attitude. <laughs> this is the kind of attitude that Constantly was on about yesterday, and you have brought it to the show. Not Iggy, good Iggy, enough. Iggy, 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 do you see what I was talking about earlier? Do you see yeah. the change? Yeah, uh, believe me. It, so it, for two coups, man. Wasn't he totally different? Oh, four it, weeks this ago? is... This is exactly believe me, no. what you're believe, talking believe, about, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like Iggy Tanky hasn't changed. Same Iggy, same That's Iggy. Right. Believe right. me, believe me. People, people, people like Iggy, don't they? I, well, you know, almost, my kids. To be everyone, fair, my kids almost. actually adore him. Actually, they adore him. Vancouver. Big, big, big K actually has a, a new special spot in his heart for Iggy. Just because of the mad support he got on shelf side last week. So he didn't. He fucking picked Lil K. What's what's this nonsense? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, Iggy didn't. Was, you see, more lies. This is more lies. <laughs> more lies. 
More lies. I'm fucking. Get, I'm clear. I'm getting the receipts, man. I'm getting Go them. and get the receipts. The more like, more like. Big K, who's liking Eric Dyer? Sorry, Big K, but Lil K all the way. Afro's just so cool as well. Bob, Bob knows how Chris gets it played out, man. You got to let your soul glow. So yeah, I'll choose Afro. Hundred percent. There you go. Uh, we did that one. We did that. Would you rather be Harry Kane, but be on three thousand pound a week, or be Vincent Jansen level on three hundred thousand pound a week? Oh, Jansen all a little day long. Fuck, yeah. get paid the most for being so shit. No, it's yeah. an easy answer. Win win. And you wonder why footballers have no pride. No. Harry Kane needs to get a new agent if he's on three thousand pound a week. <laughs> Well, you mean his brother's no good? <laughs> no, on that money, on that money, he's no, he's no good. He had a gentleman's, he had a gentleman's agreement that he get two hundred fifty-seven thousand, but actually, he just took three thousand and some fucking smarties. Three hundred k and and and, and a box winning. of Walker's crisps every week. Jansen, last one, winning. gentlemen. Last, last his one. agent takes a ninety-seven percent cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then I go. I might as well be a K on three k a week. <laughs> so then, yeah, so what? He's a hundred pound a week then. After the, the, the taxes are paid and everything, it's not bad. We, not we bad. should have a whip round of that. Yeah. We should start a GoFundMe for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All, All right, guys. Reason. Last one. Last one for you. Never use social media again or never watch another movie again? Social, social media. media. Easy. 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 For me, oh, yeah. It wouldn't be a great loss for me. That's it, Coos. You got a point tally for them? Movie, yep. man. Let's move on. <laughs> there is something to move on to here. Um, this. I fuss see, off with the see, football yeah, that's, here's, here's with the, well, the problem with your shelf side spurs. Not every round needs to be scored, you know. Leave, leave the audience wanting more sometimes. There's I don't fucking do the scores. I don't do the questions. Yeah. Yeah. It's not on me. See, yeah, yeah. Don't fucking excuses, tell me excuses. You're, you're, you're yeah. the Eric Dyer. You're the producer. I'm clicking how, a fucking button. How, you, fucking how, you not, how are you not taking credit for this? He should be taking credit for it all. Yeah. yeah. Don't disclose your cards so easily. It's no good coming on here and taking your anger out on the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. what do we do? So angry. I don't like angry, Nick. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going he on. Does, he does out. look sexy, though. Well, just, do me, do me a favor. Can we just, 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 just give him edge. the win? Just give him the win. Give no, I'm you not the win. I don't want the fucking win. You giving me the win? I don't like I don't this want attitude. The win. It's fine. This is the attitude cool. that we're talking about. Yeah, but, but the attitude that's not right. It's not right. I'm the kind of attitude. You're only accepting a win that you earn, even though you put no effort into it. Don't be, don't be selfish. Right, and I don't like this attitude. Just okay. take the win. Just take the win. And like you yeah. don't need it. You you have you have won Coops. this week, Barry. Coops. Yeah. Uh, they don't really want to talk about football anymore. And this was the last thing mind. we were going to talk about. Do we deserve top so, four? Uh, I wasn't sure no, if we should just no, we let's move just... on. Who cares? Who gives a shit? It's, it's easy answer for me. If we get it at the end of the season, yes. If we don't, no. <laughs> Very good. Tables all about. I, I, think, I think that's the most fairest. <laughs> if you you're finish you're going to get four, the then we deserve it. If we, if we win we enough play. games, if out of the 10 games we win all 10, then I definitely most definitely deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Matareo says they deserve to walk home after every away game we lose. We locked in the training ground a week after. I mean, not the training ground because it's like a fucking five star. Oh, it's all, so, yeah, it's all they, nice, they, isn't it? They want to be locked in yeah. fucking my shed. <laughs> yeah. Matarell, being locked at Hotspur Way isn't a... It, it, it isn't, isn't a punishment, punishment. Yeah. It really isn't. Let's if send him to a nice here, Mexican jail. Trust me. Oh, yeah, even, we, sta we even, to... even standing outside Hotspur Way, and I know something about that, that isn't punishment. It really we, isn't. We need to strip all of the furniture out of that place. and They earn the right to have a chair by doing really well on the training pitch. And I think Top... we need to get, get rid of the manager and all that, and all the coaches and everything. Get in, resurrect the drilling structure from Full Metal Jacket, and take them through players through that every now, single time. Ranjit, Tottenham High Road at two a.m. in the morning. 
Nah, nah, it's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> That's let a different them, story. Let them out. Let them yeah. out. Like let them, let them go for a walk on top of my road at two in the morning. Yeah. That'd be, yeah, that'd yeah. be an interesting that'd night. That'd be good. That would. Yeah. Bit, bit of an OJ Simpson moment, wasn't it, from the CCTV? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Do you want to take this one? What do you think nah. about what Bob's asking? Nah. No? Um, Arsenal to bottle the league on the last day of the season and us finish fifth, or us fourth and them winning it. I'll take ten. First one all day long. <laughs> first one all day long. Fuck it, I'll take relegation rather than them winning it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you know. Oh, this, this is a bit of a nerdy one, but it, way back in the eighties, the the second Star Trek movie, The Wrath of Khan, and at the end of it, rather than. Just accept the loss. He's happy to die just to take out everything with him. I think that's that's my my attitude to Arsenal winning trophies. That I've is the Indian way. Both clubs to the ground. <laughs> You're gonna go out, go out, out. Fucking go out, that's guns blazing, out, baby. Out, go out, out guns out, blazing. Yeah. Um, that's enough for the football. We had one more thing about football. Fuck it, eh, Coops? No more football. No more. Should, yeah, should, should we just address this Aww, one? We're enjoying that. We do have we do have one more talking point, though, Iggy. We do have one more talking point. I bet Nick was one of those heads that walked away and sulked uh, uh, with the ball if things were not going his way. <laughs> <laughs> For else. What's wrong with that? Do you, know what, do you know what, Bobby? Fucking, I agree. Fucking hell, I agree with you. Fucking Paddy. Fucking hell. See, you, do you see what I mean now, Nick? Do you see yeah. what I mean? I finally. The Hang kids on. don't see it. My wife doesn't see it. No, Paddy, Paddy's so lovely. No, he's not. He's an evil Irishman. See, the thing is with doing that is at least it shows leadership, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and it shows the and in reality, if Nick really did do that, he's helping his peers learn a hard life lesson. You wanna fucking play football, yeah? Fuck off. My ball, and My I fucking ball. play when I want to fucking play. Fucking tell him, Nick. You want to play football? Get fucked. Yeah. My ball, my, ball, my rules. Where's the, where's the ball? Where's the why, ball, Nick? Why, why was it so shiny? Is it got lube on it? No. Uh, I'm not speaking. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm not speaking. <laughs> can you can talk you, about how lube ball? No, 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 because no, I'm, I'm on no, promise. No. <laughs> You're on a promise? Oh, okay, in that case, we'll just get to work. Shut up. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Shut up now! It's game time. Yeah, it definitely needs to come That's with a it. disclaimer. We've got to go that. No <laughs> disclaimers. We'll go that. Okay, click on this one. I click Ow. on this one, and then you know what time it is. It's time for spot the ball, and I will explain spot the ball to you. So you know how it goes, boys suck and girls. The ball. Uh, yeah, you're gonna suck the ball. Same. You know what that is. <laughs> You know, it's, an, it's, an, it's an upgrade on Ride the Donkey. You know how it goes. We love donkeys. <laughs> Especially Kuva's donkey. I was, I was trying to think of how to do a donkey impression. I was about to go, bah. But it doesn't really work, does it? <laughs> is, that, is that when you're role-playing? Well, we've got, 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 we got, got, got an intro. It's good enough. We've got an intro with the cat backed by cougar sounds. So, Hang on, hang on. Bobby, 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 hang on. Kuva, is that when you're role-playing? You, you ask the donkeys to act. Act like a sheep, bitch. Bar for me. That's right. And Mr. Wolf is coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, now that we got the uh, the, the uh, shit started yeah. up, go for a coups. It's all you, baby. You know how it goes, boys. You guys have played the game before. Three stories in three different rounds. One made up by myself. One made up by that sexy Scandinavian right there. And one is actually fucking true. So... You guys are going to have to figure out which one is which. Coops, take it away, baby. Okay, uh, got the rules sorted. I'll just get straight into the first story. It's the phonograph school of languages for parrots. In September 1903, in Philadelphia, a school opened described as the only institution of its kind in the world that taught parrots to speak by means of the new technology of the phonograph. Its founder, Mrs. Jacob Hope, launched the school with a record that repeated the phrase Polly wants crackers a thousand times. She later expanded it to offer other phrases, the free for a six the fee 
for a six month term was forty dollars, but more if the bird was to be taught French or German sentences. So that's the first sen uh, first story. That's the uh, phonograph school for parrots. Um, second story, simply dog talk. Nice talk there. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Um, nice, nice one, Bobby. Um, there have been uh, many attempts over the years to create a device that transforms man's best friend's emotions into human expression. One of the more costly and seemingly more futile attempts mm -hmm. came from Swiss Science Institute in 1994. After developing a system capable of linking over 150 dog behaviours into an English-speaking audio output, the device spent the next three months on its test subject, Daisy, a six-year-old golden retriever, emitting only three words, eat, ball, and walk. It seems dogs are very easily pleased. Very easily. And on to the third uh, one of the group. Uh, it's the Colour of Music. In June 2016, students at the University of Toliara in Madagascar uh, started an experiment to see how music would influence the large chameleons that were common to the region. After several months, the students had some interesting results. They realized that jazz music put the chameleons into a relaxed state and they would then display their natural colors. It was found that heavy metal music actually aggravated the chameleons and they would display colors of aggression. The most interesting result was when they played some classical piano. Music known to be relaxing, in fact, stimulated the chameleons and they would literally become aroused and attempt to mate with the others in their group. <laughs> there you go. That's all three stories. So, so there we go. So it's the uh, it's the school for parrots. So you pay to get the parrots taught all the phrases they need, possibly in French and German. It's the uh, dog dog's emotions being converted into uh, an electronic audio device, but it's only good for three words. Um, or it's the chameleons being put through the experiment to uh, change colours or indeed get horny, depending on what music's played. Okay. So you've got to work out which is the true one, which is the fake one from Bobby K, and which is the fake one from myself. I'm going to say Bobby Coover true. So you're saying this one is me? Yeah, because right? it, was, it was American, right? So it's got to be you. Fair enough. And you're saying this one is Kuva? <laughs> right? Yeah, because, you said this yeah. one's Kuva, and you said yeah. this is true, the, the community. Yeah. Okay. Igsta. I think the... Chat, think feel one. free to answer which ones you think is which. I think this... Uh, this I think this is Kuva. The first one's Kuva. Uh, that's true, by the way. Um, you say this one's Kuva, yeah, the first one? True. I think this is true. You think this is true? Uh, um, I think the second one, I think this one's you. And the last one is Kuba's pie or Kuba's bullshit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, not bad, Kuba's. Mm -hmm. They did all right. Not bad. They did yeah, all yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, do you want to actually let them know, or should we just go into the next round and fuck it, hold them on, or should we? No, just let's let's, let's let them know. So let, let them know this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, let's see here. Mile High Leo said that uh, it was Kuva, Bobby, and True. So uh, technically, he got none right. Um, so zero there. And Stewart's going True, Kuva, and Bobby, and um, Stewart's to... not on. Stuart, spot on. Stuart, well, spot well, on. Well, well spotted. The uh, parrots, that was the, indeed the true story. Um, the Simply Dog Talk was, in fact, my bullshit story. And, of course, the colour of music was from the somewhat questionable mind of my co-host, Mr. Hello. Bobby. <laughs> so, Hello. not too good. I, th I think that's a point too bad. A point, each, a point each. Yeah, Iggy got... Uh, uh, Iggy got the correct guess with the true one, and Nick got the correct guess with your one. So, uh, a point, a point to, to to go for each of them. So let's go it, on to it round. It kind of works two. like the football, doesn't it? You either get three points, one point, or zero with or every nothing. Round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's why we set it up that way. Yeah, you, 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 you two are basically Tottenham Southampton tonight. 
Cool. <laughs> that's, that's what we think of you anyway. Yeah, that's what we like to think of you. Thank you. you yeah, by the end of the show, you can figure out which one's which. True. Right. Um, on to the second round then of this high octane white knuckle ride through the, uh, well, through some stories. Um, okay. Uh, the <laughs> second one will start off with a moving performance. Moving performance. Yeah. August 1978, researchers into the phenomena of telekinesis from the State Science Institute of Florida and a company named Brainwave, based in Tampa Bay, put forward their champion subjects, Don Masterton and Eva von Brahms, in a straightforward duel. Each contestant simply had to move a one-pound lead weight from the middle of the table into their opponent's end zone using nothing but the power of their mind. A thrilling contest was eventually de declared a draw after three hours of non-movement and a crowd that had shrunk from over 150 to six. So we've got the uh, telekinesis head-to-head uh, -head there as the first story. Uh, nothing happening for three hours, basically. Um, second story, Preach Sister. Sibling rivalry is something that cannot be denied. Twin sisters, Gail and Bernadette Robinson, were avid church-going choir singers. Unfortunately, they also thought one was better than the other. After a sermon at the church had ended one Sunday morning, the sisters would continue to sing songs of praise and prayer to the Lord. A singing duel within the church had been started, and the ladies would not stop until one had given up. They proceeded to sing songs of worship for the next five hours, before Bernadette would event finally break and concede victory to Gail. So you've got the uh, two sisters with the sing-off in the church. Uh, finally, the prayer duel to the death. In June 1903, Islamic leader Mirza Ghulam Ahmed challenged Christian evangelist John Alexander Dowie to a prayer duel to the death. Ahmad claimed to be the second coming of Christ in the script who would establish the final victory of Islam on earth. But Dawi, claiming to be the forerunner of Christ's return, insisted that Christ identified, uh, intended to destroy all Muslims. Ahmad, in announcing the duel, declared that God would reveal which one of them was telling the truth by killing the liar first. Dawi died in March 1907. Ahmad died a little over a year later, but he died a winner. Yeah, there we go. So there's, three there's the three stories. There's the uh, moving performance with a telekinesis duel. There's the <laughs> sisters having a sing-off in the church. Or there's the uh, religious uh, bigwigs uh, having a prayer off to the death. What's the matter? What's the matter, Barry? Barry, Barry's what's a little upset. I don't think what's he wants to play anymore. He's taking, he wants his ball what's, back. What's wrong? What's wrong? Do you want to Someone take him give his ball back? I'm going to go and play football. See you later, boys. <laughs> <laughs> what's well, a blunt, chum? What's the matter? Come on. Nothing. What about this? Uh, I'm going to say Coover Bobby True. So you're saying Coover Bobby True. You're saying the prayer one is the true one. Okay. If that was the third. If that was the third one, yeah. Yeah. First one is the telekinesis one. Second one is the was the sisters. Second one was the two sisters in the, the fucking two sisters and then each other in the church or whatever you were talking about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I hope that's, uh, a, that's a good story though. Which it might be. Or we might use not. that for next week. Near two weeks from now, we use that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Iggy. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Mm, I think this one's you, Bobby. This one's got your name on it for me. Right. And I'm torn between two and three for Coover. Uh, I'm going to go with Coover 2 and the last story true. No, Coover number two and the last story is true. So one Bobby, two Coover, third one true. That's So you both say the last one. This one is the true one. Yeah. Really, the prayer duel off. <laughs> Why not? Why not, man? You both. I don't know. Coops, I, don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, it fucking made a great story. <laughs> he died a year later, but he died the winner. I love that. Even if it isn't true, I hope it fucking is. Leo yeah. knows me a bit better. 
No, I reckon Kuba it's this. No, all jokes aside, all jokes aside, um, I think uh, uh, for some reason uh, in the back of my mind, I want, I want the third one to be true. But I think well, the, Stu- I, Stuart, what, Stuart, what I think the sisters answers, one. Here, I think the sisters. The sisters one was a pretty damn good story. That was a pretty good one. I'm glad singing you liked for, that one. Singing, uh, singing for five hours <laughs> till someone gave up. That's it, baby. That's the way we go. Uh, cool. Yeah. He liked that one. Do you want to tell We need who the wrote sisters at Tottenham. We need those sisters at Tottenham. We need that commitment. That kind baby. of tenacity to go all the way to the end just to come be the last one standing. That would be awesome. That's what be. That perhaps that's the form of a protest at the ground. A sing off. <laughs> a sing off. <laughs> It might be entertaining. I thought they were fingering each other in church, but hey, whatever you guys said. What we said. <laughs> um, Kuz, uh, one of them did really good this round. One they went did. three for three. The the true story was, in fact, you both got that. It's uh, the prayer duel to the death. Oh, yeah. Didn't think either of you. Was. Yeah. Great story, man. I wanted that to be true. I, I I did add the last line myself though the uh, he died a winner bit. But, uh, I mean that's the bit that got me in the end. I thought fuck <laughs> it if you're gonna win, you're gonna die and win. Yeah, you know it's, it's a true, great great true. story. Yeah, for me, that moment, it was that last fucking win. It yeah. was that last line that did it for me. The fact that he died that's a year later and he thought fuck it, I, I win. That's 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 a, that's a hint for Eric Dyer, isn't it? If he comes <laughs> off the pitch dead one week, he'll have earned his cross with the fans. I tell you. Then we can give him a seven rating. <laughs> yeah, Ali Golden point six ish. Yeah, um, the the moving performance, the telekinesis one, was indeed my fake story. Yours, and yep, yeah. yeah, and of course the singing in church thing. That is Bobby K all over because that's one of his favourite hobbies. That's what I do. That's I what, love what, going what, into black confused. gospel churches, and I get in there and. Jesus loves you. Oh yeah. man, that's some, so much fun, some, man. There's some funny oh, Bobby, funerals around here. Right oh, you from, man? You're from Sister Act. Energy. Mr. Act's the best, Sister one of the greatest Act, movies ever made. Okay? Only second to Shawshank. Bob, they're, they're pretty Bob much the Bob same Bob. plot road, though, really, aren't they? <laughs> exact same, I think. Yeah, oh, yeah Sister exactly Act and Shawshank. Same. Yeah, exactly the same. Exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. I think we have, they just had an update, eh, hey, Iggy? They did. <laughs> we paint those walls or something. I'll It'll be fine. These three. Someone fucking getting noshed off in the fucking swings. Someone. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's, here's a good round for you. Game. Well, it's, oh, it's a tight game, game here. It's four two. I didn't know you've already done this one. Four. It's four, four, right, four two. Oh. Round three, baby. Four two. Nick is in the lead. Iggy takes all three. He could still win this. That's true. Iggy, that's Iggy, true. check your phone in a second. Yeah. Was that the answers? <laughs> no, I sent them. To, I sent them to you earlier already, bro. I think. Oh. I think oh, you. Wow. Uh, they should read. Hoped brain would prove innocence. There shouldn't be a Thanks. second brain in there, but um, not not to worry. Um, uh, that's what happens when I do shit quickly. So why don't you just uh, doom 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 doom? When you doom, shit quickly, doom, you draw doom, a second brain. Doom doom doom. Interesting. Doom, doom. Okay. Doom, doom, anyway, so doom, I shall read that story in the meantime. Right. Yeah, exactly. Hope, yeah, Hope yeah, Green yeah. would prove innocence. Hey. October, October 1913, Charles Gilbert, imprisoned for 48 years for the murder of a bounty officer, requested that his body be given to Yale Medical School following his death so that doctors there could examine his brain. Gilbert believed this would prove his innocence, albeit post mortem, since a brain such as his, he insisted, could neither have conceived of nor perpetrated a murder. <clears throat> Following his death, his request was granted. However, the results of the autopsy were not reported, and he died a winner. No, I added <laughs> that as well. <laughs> uh, a year later, every yes. every story must end with that. Yeah. Yeah. He died a winner a it's year later that, after just, his right, autopsy. It's just in the great misery, there's just an uplifting bit right at the end. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. Got, got the Madeline McGinn's. No, no, we haven't. No. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> no, we'll um, we'll um, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> This is almost as bad as me it's putting a terrible. fucking bag over my head. We're going I to hell. Have a bag. We're we are to going to it. hell. But we die winners. We're going to hell, but we're going to hell. I can tell you about the next one. 
uh, Stelios was streaming on a Monday night on Tottenham away. <laughs> it was stream a stream full of abuse. <laughs> that one's fucking true. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I like we'll the other. We'll just go with that one. <laughs> uh, actually, that was a good one. We should again. That's two stories Nick's given us for the next show. That's fantastic. That's how <laughs> how, de- how desperate? How show. desperate must he be to win this game? How desperate? It's, it's <laughs> actually, it's we could do a whole it's game show out of Stell or not Stell. <laughs> next, next in two weeks from now, come back for uh, it's Stell it, or not Stell. It. Yeah, it. Get, get him on. Get him on. See how much he knows about it. Get him on, see how much he knows. Get, get him on the and then question him whether he said this or not. I'm just yeah, that, that, that's, that's actually a brilliant game, <laughs> Did Did Stel say this? I didn't. He'd have to be yeah. sitting there going, "Did I say that? I might have said it." We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to put that. We got two weeks to put it together. What, we're gonna have to oh, find yeah, all the clips yeah, where he it. does actually say it. Got it. Wrong thong or flip flop. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad at this all. Is, this is doing it. This right in itself, yeah. Oh, um, okay, God. anyway, he's round, he's round three. Money. Round three. Uh, second story. Stream of abuse. 2022, New York. Eddie De Salva was obsessed with streaming everything in his life as often as he could on his channel, Ed's Life. Um, after an, an initial peak of over 35,000 viewers started to dwindle, Ed resorted to more and more elaborate and creative ways to gain viewers. It was a downward spiral for Ed, as eventually he attempted to provoke a race-hate confrontation with one of his neighbours. However, Ed had become so accustomed to wearing his chest-mounted GoPro that he'd, he'd captured the entire scene on video, clearly showing he started the fight. Police use the video as evidence to see Ed sentenced to five years for a race hate crime. So, so that's the second one, stream of abuse, and uh, trying to fix the dwindling figures by taking matters into his own hands. Um, third story. Again, really? 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 Okay. Mastermind criminal Justin Walter was was a criminal. Well, of course he was. Did you write this or something, Bobby? You know? Oh, no, I mean, it's true, isn't it? No, I did it. Um, <laughs> Very I good. Did, I, did Very first, good. <laughs> I did number two in this group. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe yeah, I, did I, did the, I did number anyway. three, two. Yeah. Not one. And then number actually, one actually and number it kind of meant, makes sense when I read it now. Mastermind criminal Justin Walters uh, was a criminal, not just not a mastermind. Okay, it doesn't make sense. I'll oh. take it back. Justin was from Visa, I, Vi, Visa, presumably, or Visa, Idaho, where crime was virtually non-existent. Where do you find this shit? You... Go on. Sorry. Okay. Justin decided he would take advantage of the fact that the town had three police officers, then generally worked from home and would respond to calls only when radioed in. The town was ripe for picking, and Justin decided he would start preying on the local gas station. He proceeded to rob the gas station twice in one week with a fake plastic gun. Word spread quickly in the town regarding this new master criminal. Justin proved not to be such a mastermind. He returned the following week and attempted to use a credit card that he said stolen from the previous week's heist. Needless to say, it was a quick and easy arrest for the local authorities and Justin would end up being the first criminal Charged in town for over nine years. Nice. So was he a winner though, Cuba? Was he a winner? He, died he was a winner. winner. He died a winner died in a winner. jail because Bubba was in the cell waiting for him. He said, "You get the bottom bunk." <laughs> okay, I'm going. Cuba, true Bobby K. Cuba, true Bobby K. Mm. So you're saying this is. Kuva, the brain this, this is pressure time now, Iggy, because uh, you really need to pull this out of the bag. Kuva. I need to pull this out of the bag because I'm losing. That's what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. You can't get uh, the same uh, answers as me. Uh, sure you can. Why can't he? Because you're smart. Can lose, what did you say? <laughs> what did you say? He said, uh, he said this one was... What, he said that one was Kuva. He said this Kuba, one was true, Bobby true K, and then he said me. So Kuva, true, Bobby K. Fuck it, I'm going the same. What's the worst that can happen? 
That you well, get we, no point. We, that we you know. get no point. No, no. I think the second one. No, the, the second story. <laughs> the second story sounded more true out of the three. Then it's just for me trying to guess who out of you two come up with those bullshit story. Um, <laughs> so the second one. I'm offended. I, the second <laughs> one. You make it sound like true. it's bullshit. In the these Bobby stories. one. The Bobby one because you was just reading shit and just like <laughs> this doesn't make sense. So it sounded yeah. more like Bobby <laughs> criticizing his work. I don't know. I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna stick with it. Second story, truth. Last one, Bobby. First one, Cooper. Oh yeah, I'm gonna well, go. Yeah, exactly. We do it. Grace well, Stewart said what Ranch said automatically by default. Nick, that means you would win, even if uh, because uh, Co- well, Iggy, you gave the same answers as him. No, man, I, I genuinely believe the second one was true the whole way through. Yeah. As a, and the third and the one, two. because he criticised you, he criticised you, <laughs> like, blah, 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 he's a mastermind criminal, but he wasn't a mastermind. Was he even a criminal at this point? <laughs> we don't know. I we don't, don't know. know. You know what? That could have been a game that Coover played. So I, it could have been his story as mm. well. I, 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 I did think that. I probably should have gone with that gut feeling. But, could could also could also just so happen to be true. It could well be true. So it could have been all part of the plan. But I don't know. I just felt the second one had a bit more uh, truth. I don't know. I don't know if any of them are true. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> First time I've heard all three songs. Just just somebody's going to figure out. We'll make all of them up soon, Coop. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Actually, they were all bullshit. I get the, actually, I got the kids to make them up every day, every week. That's going to be the new Really? They go for yeah. all these uh, stories. Actually, that, there, we, there we go. Which bullshit but, story did Little K make up? Which one did Big K make up? And which one did my nephew Ryan I mean, make they, up? They were, they were all pretty fake, dark for fake kids news. to be reading. <laughs> pretty dark stories. I think we're, I think we're but but they all died winners. Look how desperate he is to win. Look how yeah, desperate man, he is to hear it. Well, I've won it. anyway because me and Iggy have the same answer. So don't you do, that, you do win that. and you do win with a lot of pride because, again, back-to-back rounds, you went three for three. Iggy went three for three with you this round. So, Barry, with our highest point total I think we've ever given in this game, Coves a seven out of nine. That, that's no, no, ben, ben, ben Kaufman smoked the first couple of these games. He, he got nine out oh, of nine. Oh, he did get nine out of nine wow. one game. That's well, right. Ben, ben does hold the yeah. perfect record. Well, yes, ben. but seven to you, five hope, to Iggy. I... So well played, Iggy. A lot better than the last time you played this. So, it's amazing. Gentlemen, it's but, amazing but course, what... the, only, the only real winner is football. Let's not uh, yeah. forget that. Yeah, and, it, and, and that died as a winner as well. By the way, Bobby, thanks for the messages, man. Thanks for that. Oh, you're welcome, bro. You know what? I, sh- I should have sent them earlier, though. It's not true. It's not hey, true. Patty, it's Patty, not Patty, true. Fuck no, he's help. more he's more mad about Paddy. Fuck's sake, Paddy. Listen, <laughs> the, 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 the people have spoken. Hey, the look who's spoken. here. Look who's here. <laughs> just in time. Just in time for, oh, my goodness, 12 days. 12 days, Ziggy. Do you have the... Yeah. Number two, yeah, Iggy. Number two, the X. You want to choose the X or the... Uh, oh, shit, yeah. No, why, picked... you ma- why are you making stuff up? Why are you making stuff up for? Iggy, Iggy. He picked proposing to, to Sophie in Italy. That is not what his option was? Exactly. He she turned me down. Three. I proposed to her recently exactly. again. Yeah, fuck you, Sophie. Out. You turned Iggy down. You deserve everything you get. We had, I had the whole Rocky. No, no, you I had don't. The whole, uh, you don't I had the, everything you get. I don't mean what I say, Sophie. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> I had the whole Rocky uh, scene sec. You know when he takes uh, and he takes Adrian and he goes, "Oh, well, I hope you wouldn't mind marrying me too much." Mm-hmm. And, then, and then and then she says, she says what? And he, and he pulls her up like, "I hope you wouldn't mind marrying me too much." And then and then and then as he celebrates, the church bell goes on. You know, and and then he goes to the church scene. It reminded me of that. I heard the church go for. Yeah. Do you want to get married? It, 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 was, it was exactly the same, except for the uh, lack of happiness. Yeah, really, lack of it? snow, the tiger. I didn't have the 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 hat. Uh, Bro, why it. didn't you call me? I could get you a tiger. Come on. <laughs> for me, keep for these me things once. in our backyard, man. <laughs> <laughs> for me once, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh-huh. uh, a little bit, a little bit. Uh... Do, do you know man. where the biggest population of tigers is in the world at the moment? No, uh, uh, Toronto, Texas. Really? <laughs> what? I'm surprised it's not Qatar with all these guys buying private, private, pets. private pets. Yeah, Texas. Wow, wow. how exotic! 
What a place for them to live as well. Bloody hell. Oil tigers. It's <laughs> <laughs> insane, honestly. What? That's the last place I'd think for them to live. Turn <laughs> it. T- I, I, I say, say no, Alan, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying that because I'm not going to come out good responding that. Which Whatever answer I came with. I come That's up very with. true. That's very true. Well played, Iggy. Well played. Uh, Kuv, a little bit depressing on the football side, but we got through the fun part of the show. That was all right. And uh, I think we need more fun stories, though. They were dark this week. I think we're gonna. I'm gonna try to find ones that are like related, to, like porn. Yeah. Can we get Can we get like people that. getting noshed off in the playground, fingering in the church? Yes. Yeah, yeah we are going to be switching. Show. Oh, that being said, should should we should we tell them, Kuv? Should we? It was. It's the alternative them? version of Kill Bill, the one I watched, anyway. <laughs> That'd be good to get <laughs> Uh What do you think, Scoop? Should we let them know now that, uh, that we're going to switch things and put the sounds in them when it's just Saturday and then the thing in the two weeks? No, keep them, leave them in the dark, mate. Okay, just post it. Okay, yeah. no, that, that, yeah, go, go on. Go on yeah. 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 It's yeah. not about these guys, it's about the handful of people that do like to come and watch us for some weird, weird reason. But uh, yeah, we'll be back in two weeks, folks. Uh, but now we will be switching to Saturday nights. So, uh, we will be on a Saturday evening because I know a lot of you have work Monday morning and your wives complain that you're up late talking on streams um, when they should in reality be happy that you're at home spending time with your family and your friends instead of out at the pub or something like that. Um, not that I'm you know, signaling anybody out or anything that, that would complain about the noise in the evening. I got you. I got you. No, it's, 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 it's basically so we can alternate with our mate Bob Sparrow, isn't it? So um... and that's true too. Yeah, one every Saturday night at five thirty p.m. you will have one chocolate Bob. One will be English, one will be Canadian. That is the only difference. Yes, and Kuva will be on both. So you're busy Saturday nights pretty much now, all the time. If you're not busy <laughs> watching Tottenham. Oh, oh, one question I've got to bring up here. Um, Go for it. Uh, that's the last one. There. Question for Kuva: Would you celebrate ever um, Martin Odegaard if he scored for Norway during the international break? Yes, of course I would. Um, really, really, uh, really proud of my Norwegian heritage. At the end of the day, and he's a great player. So when he's playing for when he's playing for his national side, is clubs don't story. matter then to me. Unless it's for England, and I don't care about England. I just want Kane to score loads. <laughs> and that is the truth. Uh, gentlemen, you want to let everybody know where they can find you? Sorry, it's just uh, just the wise, yeah, wanted... just, just the wise vibrators. Mama K, Sophie's, Laura's, just. <laughs> <laughs> Did you start without me? <laughs> Fuck off! Yeah, yeah. Guys... Someone, someone's cutting the lawn. Yeah. Cool. Someone, someone's cutting the lawn. Sounds, sounds like it. Different type of lawn, no pad. Fucking hell! <laughs> Bloody hell! Even better, Jacob actually knows which one was being used. Now that that is fucking that's mm. talent. That's coops, oh. coops. That's part a oh. new game we could do too. Guess the vibrator. Put them on in the background and see if people can get which model it is and what speed setting it's playing at. Because I think the one I got her for, I mean, uh, one I've seen online somewhere uh, had like 14 <laughs> settings or something like that. So, yeah. Oh, Jesh is right, Leo. Oh, Jesh. Uh, boys. All right. So, Eggs, when are you back? Um, we now, now that Monarch. we know you're going to be doing, uh, it's going to be good morning, good morning, good morning. And at the end of it, how are you going to end the show now? How did you like every question being or every story being ended? He died a winner. He died in a winner. Yeah. So, um, so, so good what, morning, yeah, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Tottenham away, and then I make sure it's not come on your Spurs. We, we go out. <laughs> if Conte goes, he goes out a winner. <laughs> so, right? so that I'll, I'll end it. the I'll end the I'll I'll end the morning show like that tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll be t- tomorrow morning. We'll do the Good Morning Tottenham away. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck knows what I'm going to talk about, if I'm in all honesty. Um, it's not like we've much happened this weekend. And, uh, and yeah, tomorrow night... It's it would be isn't it? Tottenham, yeah, and exactly. You know when you should do a good morning? Like... A good morning is supposed to be yeah. something like, like a nice coffee in your hand. And yeah, yeah. 
I don't know. I want to. I, I don't I, listen. I don't want to go too into because we've had a whole weekend of it. And this, for me, has been a really good, uh, a good icebreaker to move away a little bit from um, Tottenham chat. So, yeah, we when we I go think, out tonight, yeah. we will go to bed as winners. There and, you go. Um, well, to be we fair, will. you could still be a winner because if we wrap up quickly enough, you know Sophie's still awake. Just saying. Yeah, I'll probably die a winner then. <laughs> you know what? Some things are worth dying for, Iggy. Uh, amen, <laughs> brother. Amen. <laughs> Um, so, and look, she's still think, alive. So you at least got a good couple of minutes. I think, I think, Iggy, if I was doing that morning show you do, the little update, the, the Tottenham away update, I'd definitely mix it up with a few things. Like every morning, just throwing the oh, uh, thoughts and prayers go out to the family of uh, Ramon Vega this morning. And people go, she passed away. And just, no, nah, no, he's fine. I'll just, I'll just be I'm friendly. Just, yeah, I just want to just, spend my thoughts and prayers to him. That's it. Give it, give, it's as, as the bacon sandwich goes complete indigestion, coffee starts spilling <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll have to figure something out where, where it isn't so, uh, like Bobby says, so depressing as a, as a first morning thing. I'll see. Maybe the best thing is probably not to even do one. But um, <laughs> just, you know, just, just, just come in and go. Look, everything's fine. As as you know, hotspot ways blazing behind it. <laughs> everything's fine. Nothing to see here. Everything's sweet. Conte's <laughs> back. The team's all happy, and we're ready to go again for next week's match or the following week. Um, but yeah, <laughs> other than that, we'll be doing a live stream tomorrow night, um, half eight, as per usual on a Monday night. So. Whoever wishes to come along, feel free. I'll see you guys in the comments. Yeah, well, uh, see, top top four is apparently a trophy, and we know what it looks like now. <sighs> I want to go out a winner. <laughs> don't make me go out a loser. Don't make me go out. Don't tempt me with those comments. There you go, bro. <laughs> Uh, so you will see Iggy over at Tottenham Away. The link is in the description for the show. Remember to hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already over here. And Nick, where are they going to find you next, buddy? I don't know. We don't normally stream. And there's an so, internet. sorry, should we ask your receptionist to go over your schedule now, or do you know what you're where you are this week? He's like, fuck me. Must he find me? Must he come and watch me? Must he see? Is that it's international week as well. Oh my God, what a miserable two weeks! Oh, we no, we probably, we probably, we're probably not going to stream this week because uh, England Why? will play in Italy on Thursday. That's good. That's um, a perfect time to stream. No, no. How no, else no. Are you going to pass yourself off that yeah. boredom with international football? What, what's something else today? <laughs> That's the best time to stream when international football is on. There you go. I'll do a live do stream watch just along. for you, Iggy. We'll do a watch along. Have it on a watch along. You. Have a shelf side slash watch along. So the football. And non football stuff. Together. SSS does FFF football free Thursdays. <laughs> we might do. That's might fucking not. great. We haven't, we haven't made a decision, but you're all the producer. Is, we're going to die winners, so it's fine. <laughs> and don't you know ever what? forget. Coons, it. I think we better trademark that one quickly. We're gonna well, die football winners. free Thursdays. No, and then we're going to die we're winners. Die for Die as a winner. <laughs> die as a winner. That could be our sign up from the show. Thanks so, for watching. Yeah. Remember to like and subscribe. And remember, you're going to die a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happens, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> you will come out as a winner. That's right. Remember, folks, die a winner. <laughs> die a winner. There are no losers. No, no. And Never that's your Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah. No, 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 no. Even they. No, but even they're well. going to die a winner. I mean, if you're going to go, Jesus Christ, <laughs> let them go out as winners. They spent the whole lives as losers. <laughs> at least, at least, let them go One, to eternal something. life as winners. <laughs> and remember, in your next life, choose anyone. Just don't choose Tottenham. <laughs> I'm trying to tell my kids that in this life, but nope, they're too too oh, ingrained now. It's like a, it's like a, it's like the end of Crime Watch. You've just seen all the harrowing things, and it's like. Don't have nightmares. <laughs> Don't have nightmares. Support City. Yeah, yeah cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs> mate, I've just seen someone get fucking just, slapped you know, up. Just fucking London crimes, the worst of all kinds. And at the end, you go, sleep well. Don't have nightmares. I, I fucking guarantee I'm going to have nightmares after that. <laughs> and guys, remember. Remember, you, you're all You're going to die happy and you're going to die winners because a diet is not a winner. So die fat and happy. <laughs> Too late, Stuart. Too late.
Yeah, no, diet, is not a winner. diet is not a winner. A diet is not a winner. Food is winning. Fuck eat diet. well. Eat well. Eat good. Eat healthy. Eat what you can as much as you no. can. So you eat do. healthy and eat well does not go together. Paddy, read the room. Paddy, read the room, man. Fuck's sake, man. I see what you mean, Bobby. I see what you mean, man. All day, buddy. All day with this guy. All day. I honestly don't. And you know what? He's, uh, he's just, he's, he's such a nice guy in person, though. But something happens to him on streams. You know, Have we streams. lost a generation of fans? What, just watching this show? Probably. <laughs> yeah, we've lost a generation. <laughs> but they went out as winners. They all went out as winners. They all went out as winners, baby. It. That's what it's all about. And don't forget, if you're still up and you can't get to sleep, there's always Shawshank you can go and Always watch. Shawshank. And you remember, at the end of that, Morgan yeah. you Freeman will goes die as out a winner. Of, Morgan Freeman goes out a winner. Yeah, absolutely. Well, he, he doesn't and, <laughs> If nothing else, Barry, take your ball with you. Barry, yeah. I think, I I think he missed an S. No, Barry, he, missed this... it. he missed that an S. He said, take your balls with you. Yeah, don't worry. That fucking next game for Tottenham, I'm taking all those fucking balls off that pitch. Then what are they going to fucking do, eh? They'll yeah. still fucking play shit. <laughs> but they will go out as winners. Yeah. We'll go out as winners. Oh, gentlemen, thank you. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate you trying to bring some humor and a couple of laughs and some smiles to this otherwise depressing weekend here. Uh, happy Mother's Day to those of you thank in you. the UK celebrating, to your thank moms, you. to your wives, um, <laughs> to and, and congratulations to those of you that made your wives mothers because at the end of the day, if it wasn't for your hard work, your pushing and your cushion, they wouldn't be moms. So uh, hopefully they reciprocate a little bit of that love and have some appreciation for what you guys did. Ladies, put the vibrators down and show your men a good time. We'll see you in two weeks. Coops. Whatever takes your fancy. Yeah, yep. just work on some of that love reciprocation. Yeah. Love reciprocation is what it's all about. That's right. Tonight, I'm putting them away. I'm coming, honey. <laughs>